Hello and welcome along to episode 3 of this Nuka 19 career, the other O'Sullivan with me, Daniel. It's the second of a double header today, and the reason for that is because I just wanted to show you the rest of the match from the last episode. We're going to pick up exactly where we left off. It's one frame all in the best of three against Judd Trump. Let's see if we can sneak our way through and cause our first shock of the series. If I remember rightly, it's Judd Trump breaking off, so we're going to play the final frame in a double header today, and then next week episode we'll go back to normal as we move on a few events down the line. So it is Judd Trump to break off. Let's see if he leaves us anything to attack. He's clipped the blue on the way through, but it looks like he's got away with it. All of the reds have fallen centrally. In fact, 14 of them are back where they started. And aside from the blue, everything was perfect with that shot. So we've just got to make sure we miss the blue and that we get the white ball safe. So let's get up to the top of the table. We're going to go up to 45%, just because we're a bit higher than we would be for the break. And hopefully that'll be enough to get us up and back down the table without giving away anything at the other end. So 45%, we've absolutely nailed it, but have we got the ball back up the table? We've left a few reds on either way, so this ball's got to be tight to the cushion, or Judd Trump will be having a go. I mean, the ball is as tight to the cushion as it could be, so hopefully even if he attacks the long pot, he'll miss it and we'll get an opportunity to build a break. We've already got a record break of 65 in the last frame, but we're not going to get it today. Judd Trump pots the first red of the match, and I don't know if he's on the black, but he can certainly hit it for a safety shot. I'm really disappointed after a perfect break-off or a perfect response to the break that he's been able to put a pot in from tight on the cushion. He's potted another red and he's starting to build a healthy lead. So we'll just let him go and do that off-camera and then we'll be back when we get to the table again. Hopefully the game won't be out of sight at that point. Okay, a lifeline again. We're back at the table with just 20 on the board for Judd Trump. So we're certainly not out of this frame, but we've only got the option of a safety shot as there's not a real pot on at all and as I said at the end of the last episode if you want to put any questions down in the comments about the game if you're trying to decide whether to buy it then feel free if you've already got it and you're either enjoying it or disappointed then let me know why I'm happy to have a discussion about the game I'm delighted that there's just a snooker game to play you've obviously probably seen that there's another one coming the Stephen Henry game by Vufu Studios that one's the official game of the veterans tour whereas this is obviously the world snooker licensed product so let's get on with this shot and hopefully we'll be able to get in behind the yellow as long as we don't leave a pot on again we've seen that Judd Trump can pot absolutely anything I don't know if he'll have a go at this one on the side cushion but we've covered the rest no, of the reds from a shot him. he's coming for the long pot he's going for that one on the left hand side he's trying to roll it in again and he succeeded again he's not on the red or pink though so he's going to have to go for a long pot on the blue or maybe even up for one of the top colours he's gone for the green instead he's going to put that in his he just in off the side of the pocket it was a bit of a tough one but he managed to get it in in the end he's just probably teasing me I'm sure he'll go and see out the game now so as we are watching a Judd Trump break again I will obviously come off in a minute as he's played another safety shot and only just missed the pocket with a cue ball let me know anything you want about the game down in the comments below I'll try and respond to as many as possible if we get lots we're back at the table though, we've got a slight chance at this red to the middle pocket and we might as well have a go at it as Judd Trump's hitting everything he can and we're not going to get another chance if we don't take one soon. So again we're just going to try and roll it in, get up towards the top of the table so if it does go wrong we hopefully won't leave any pots on. Just made a mistake with the power bar there, what I have learned from that is if you do just let it run through it won't take the shot which is good. But we've missed the pot and we've left it on so unfortunately that could be the end of the frame. It's great to take one off Judd Trump just as I did with Mark Allen in the last one off camera but unfortunately it's not been enough and we haven't looked like winning a whole match yet a little bit of consistency is going to be the key but I'm sure that will come in time as we learn to build the breaks we'll get less frustrated and we'll build ourselves against the challenge Judd Trump's missed another black I have no idea what's going on here we're on medium difficulty and the top 10 players are missing pots galore they're missing the easy short ones and all of the long ones are going in so it's a little bit strange but it's been a real immersive experience and as I've said before I like the challenge of having to learn the game even though it's making things a bit more difficult I don't think we've got a pot on here so we may have to go for a safety shot I'm not quite sure how well it will go but we'll certainly do our best 
So let's just try and get the ball back up the table. We'll hit it with plenty of power and hopefully it'll be enough to make sure the red and the cue ball are safe. So let's just go for it. We've under hit it slightly. The red's gone back in towards the pack which is good and to be honest that's almost perfect. We've got the ball up on the bottom cushion again and we're protected by the nice yellow shot. and brown. So Judd Trump's going to have a tough shot on his hands here. Certainly won't be going for a pot and we're going to get another chance at the table in a minute as we see another really good safety exchange. He's left one onto the bottom corner there. Not the best angle but we're going to have a go at it no. and hopefully we can start to build a break in this frame. Let's try and roll this one in then. There's not really good colours at the bottom. The black and the pink are both tied up largely. So we're going to have to try and come all the way back for the blue. But mostly for us, it's just about putting the pot in. And then we can try and play a safety on the colour if need be. If we can make it a scrappy frame, it suits us more than Judd Trump. As he's going to be able to build fluent breaks. And we're not quite at that stage yet. We are at a stage though where we've snookered ourselves on the colour. So we're going to go for the black ball. Or maybe we could go for the blue if that's a safer option. In fact, I'm going to do that. Let's go and play for the blue. Another good thing about this game, which didn't happen in previous snooker games, you don't get to see where the ball is going to bounce off the cushion, which makes the safety shots a lot harder. I'm going to go for it as hard as we can. If we miss the blue, then so be it. I'm sure it will cost us the frame. We've missed it by a million miles. That's just because I overhit the shot. It was outside the bracket of perfection and by a long way as well. We've come back towards the other red, so hopefully Judd Trump will just continue and pot the ball and then make a mistake to give us one more chance. But we've made three mistakes in this frame. Frame, so we can't complain if we lose it from here and we'll be back in a moment if we get another chance at the table. We're back at the table again just six points later as Judd Trump's really trying to throw this game away. We're going to go to try and roll this red into the top corner and if we can nudge the black out of the position of the reds that would be absolutely brilliant as well. It's been tied up all frame which will really hinder us towards the end particularly as the rest of the reds are spread around the pink. The blue's off its spot too so we don't want to have to keep going up and down the table. So we're just going to try and roll this into to the corner. I'm not very good at the long pots on here yet and hopefully we'll do enough to put it in the pocket. That's if not we just have to accept that we've left everything open but it's our final chance to get a point on the board. We've it. just missed it. It's hit either side of the pocket. Came back out of the jaws and unfortunately Judd Trump is going to win this game now as the Reds are spread absolutely oh, beautifully. Well, well, He's missed the first one though. No. This is a world class player. I don't understand what's going on here but we've got another reprieve. After four mistakes in this frame we're still on for a chance to win it and it's the deciding frame and Judd Trump seems to be crumbling under the pressure. We've got another fairly tricky pot to the middle. We're just going to try and roll it in again. We may nudge one red on the way through but as long as we stay on a colour that's absolutely fine by me. Most importantly is getting the pot. That's something we've not done too often and we've missed it again and surely this time Trump will wrap it up. Five mistakes we've made and there are now two reds hovering over the pockets. They're spread beautifully and any world class player would wrap this up. Up. He's put the first red in and I'm sure that's game over now. So unfortunately we are going to lose the first qualifying round of the Indian Open. But this one was a lot closer for us and we almost caused a shop against the world number 7. We'll be back in a moment if we get another chance. If not we'll be there for the round up at the end of the game. Remarkably Judd Trump has missed yet again. He should have just done enough by now. There's only 51 available on the table and he leads by 61. So we're going to have one go at a snooker and see if it works out. But if Judd Trump gets another red then we're certainly going to be out of the game. I'm not quite sure how we're supposed to pull this off as we're right next to the pocket and there's a red at either end of the table so I think we may have to pot the red at the other end of the table go for the long pot there and then we can work for a snooker behind the bolt colours. Now we've got the other two left at the other end of the table. So let's just try and roll this one in and then if we can get on the colour that's great. If we can nudge the blue in that would be fine as well. We're not too worried about points at this stage even if we put the blue in it's still 12 points so still three, four point snookers either way. So let's go for this one then. If we don't put this in, it's completely irrelevant. So this is the most important one and we've missed it. And Judd Trump, if he needed another lifeline, has got his sixth attempt to wrap it up for certain. He already had in truth. He's ten points further ahead than there are remaining. And now he's just going to nudge this red in and that's going to be game over. For those of you who are wondering, because I've seen it on a few of the forums and other videos I've watched, you can skip the player shots. Not entirely, but you can find 
fast forward them quite a lot. I'll show you on the next shot here. You can fast forward them like that. Just by holding down the right trigger, they make them speed up quite a lot. The black's going to go in for Trump. As soon as we come back to the table, we'll concede. And that's even if we get another chance. So we'll wait and see if Judd Trump wraps up the game. And he has. It's now an 86-point lead. We're not going to be able to get back on terms with Judd Trump. I think that's pretty obvious from this point. So we are going to concede the frame. That does mean Judd Trump will go through. But unfortunately, there's nothing more that can be done at this stage. We did the most we can. And we lost 2-1 against really high-quality opposition. Despite the fact we got our highest break of 65. Which actually turned out to be the highest of the match. So maybe Judd Trump was having an off day. But we certainly put up a fight. And I'm really pleased with our progress so far. It's only a matter of time before we nick one of these games. And as soon as we edge up the rankings, we'll be playing lower quality opposition in the qualifiers. So there's the confirmation we failed to qualify. I'm aware you haven't seen this screen in our career yet, so we're just going to show you what it says. Better luck next time. It's almost taking the mick a little bit there. So we'll just advance. The next one's the European Masters. It's a qualifier which is going to be difficult for us. I'm not going to show you anything from it, but I'm going to show you who we've got before we finish this one. But we've now got a high break of 65. Surely our first century's just around the corner. The schedule's coming along nicely. We're not going to qualify for the Paul Hunter Classic. So it's going to be a little bit further down the line when we come back towards the end of September and October. So I'm just trying to look out for one of the big events. There's a lot of these tournaments we're not going to get anywhere near. So it might even be the German Masters we're next back for, based on the calendar as it appears there. If we go to our ranking, we've not moved up at all because we haven't won any prize money. And of course, the cabinet's still empty. So we're going to show you who we've got in the European Masters. We'll go and play it off camera. And then we'll be back in a few months' time in the season as we come up to a big event and maybe even get closer to winning some games. Of course, it will change if we do win our first qualifier here. Here. If it looks like we're on course for our first win at any time between now and the planned comeback time, then we will obviously come back for the last frame of the match, so you can try and see us wrap up our first victory. But let's just enter the tournament to confirm who we've got. Number 11 ranked Sean Murphy, so another almost impossible task, but we'll see if we can cause a shock off camera. You'll know if we look like we're going to, because you'll end up seeing the last frame of the match, so fingers crossed we can run him close and maybe nick the first victory of our career. But if you did enjoy this episode and the second of this doubleheader today, please put a thumbs up on the video. I really do appreciate it. It's something completely new to me, making non-football content, although I love playing games like this. We've got Cricket 19 coming next month, and then the F1 game at the end of June as well. So plenty of content to look forward to from other sports games, as well as my daily Football Manager content. Let me know down in the comments any questions you've got about this game or career mode, or just let me know how you're finding the game. Are you having any more luck with your break building or are you struggling just as much as I am if you want to have a chat about the world championships in real life which are going on at the moment then put a comment down below as well I'm happy to respond to them as I'll be watching plenty of the competition myself subscribe to the channel for daily football manager content from two long-term stories as well as weekly content from snooker 19 and the other games later in the spring we just mentioned but a massive thanks for watching and your continued support as always if you are new to the channel click that subscribe button and we'll see you next time for some more brand new Snooker 19 career mode content.